When we are creating a quiz, there are various methodologies by which we can make sure that students are seeing slightly different versions of the same exact quiz. We can do this by shuffling answers for things like multiple choice and multiple answer. We can also shuffle the order of the questions or even have the system pick um, for example, one question out of five equivalent questions so that the students are answering similar questions but not exactly the same questions. So how can we do this? The first thing we're going to cover is how you can tell Canvas to shuffle the answers for questions like multiple choice. When we're looking at the quiz that we're creating in the details tab, when we scroll past the prompt, one of the first options is shuffle answers. If you turn this on by clicking the box to the left of it so that it now has a check mark, every time a student opens the quiz, each question will reorder the of multiple choice options as well as multiple answer options so that they are in different orders. So when student A loads it up, for example, the correct answer might be the second option. Student B loads up the quiz, option one might be the correct answer. So that is one great way of ensuring that uh, the students are seeing different options for multiple choice and multiple answer type questions. The other thing that we can do is we can put all the questions in that are worth the same amount of points in something called the question group and they'll tell Canvas to present all of the questions inside the group to the student. What that means is that every time a student starts the quiz, the system will be picking out of that group of questions one at a time, essentially giving them a completely different order. So that student, let's say we have a multiple choice question, a true false question, and a multiple answer question. Student one will see multiple choices. The first question Student two will see multiple choice as the second question because every time a quiz is started, the system is picking from the group of questions and taking them out randomly one at a time, resulting in different orders of the same questions. So how do we achieve this? When we're inside the quiz, we go into the questions tab. We, this is where we have all of our questions. So I'm going to take all the questions worth five points, put them together in a question group, and tell Canvas to pick from them. So I have one, two, three, four question worth five points. So I'm going to put these inside of a question group and tell Canvas to pick four questions out of this group, essentially all the questions. So let's get started. We scroll all the way to the bottom, right before we see the save and publish and save buttons, we have the plus new question, which is what we click in order to create our questions. And the next button to the right of that is plus new question group. When we click this, we get to put a label for this group so it's easier for us to remember. So for example, for me, I'm gonna put all five points questions. This is the name of my group. I'm going to tell it to pick four questions because that's how many I'm putting in here. And they're all worth five points each. So now I have the group set up in terms of a label, how many questions should be taken out of it for each student, how many points is each question worth. Once I'm done, I click create group and I have an empty group over here. I am going to move this group all the way to the top so that it's easier for me to uh, work with it. I can either drag it all the way to the top or click the two rows of dots to the left of the label. And then it says, where would you like to move it? I'm going to place it uh, before MC, which is my first question. Click save. Now this question group empty as it is, is right here at the top, making it easier for me to add the questions. So how do I add the questions? Since I already created them, I'm just going to drag them from here. 
I could also create questions right inside the group. If I hadn't created the questions yet, I would just go over to the right where it says all five point questions, pick four questions. To the right of that is the plus sign. When I click the plus sign, I can create questions inside the group. But as I said, I already created the questions outside, so I'm going to just drag them inside. So I'm going to grab this question and just drag it inside. When I'm dragging it, I can see the border of it inside the group a box itself, and then I just drop it down, and there it is. And I will repeat this with all of my questions. Does not matter which order I'm putting them in, because as I said, it will move them around and create a completely different order each time. So I have four questions inside telling the system, pick four questions. Each one is worth five points. The other questions, I'm leaving them right after. So let's save and preview this. When we are previewing this quiz, you can now see that my numerical question is the first question, even though inside the group, the multiple choice question was the first question. And if I go back to my quiz, and let's try previewing again, now I'm previewing this quiz again. Now the numerical question is question number two and multiple choice question is question number one. And you can see that each time also for the multiple choice questions, my answers keep moving around the options of my answers. So we can see fill in the blank is now question four. The other questions worth two points, 10 points, and 20 points are after all those initial four questions. So in this way, we can say that student one is going to see multiple choice first, student two is going to see multiple choice as the fourth question, so they're seeing them in completely different orders. All right. The other option is that I could create four questions that are similar, equivalent in difficulty, perhaps even from the same subject area, and tell the system to only pick one of them or two of them so the students get different questions. So let's set that up. So we're going to go here, and I'm going to edit this group by clicking the little pencil to the right of the plus sign. So to the right of the label and where it says pick four questions, we have the plus sign, which is where we could be adding more questions, and then the pencil, which is for editing. So here it's set up to pick four questions. Instead, of, I'm going to tell it to pick one question. But I could tell it pick two questions, for example, as well. And then I'm going to hit update group. So now it's set up that each time a the quiz is started, it picks one of these four questions so that students are getting completely different questions. So let's preview this. The first time we're previewing this, we're getting the multiple choice question, and then we're heading into the two point question, which is multiple answer question. So let's go back to the quiz again, and let's do another preview. This time, the fill in the blank question is the question presented instead of the multiple choice question. And again, my two point question continues right after that. So let's edit this back. So when I have set up a question group where I'm telling the system to take out as many questions as I have in the quiz group, then I am telling the system basically to present the exact same questions to all the students, but completely different order for each student. If instead I am setting it up to select fewer than how many questions are in the group, I end up with the students getting different questions on their quizzes from each other. Either way, we, you, we get to generate slightly different quizzes when we do this. So both of those are created with the question groups, which we create by clicking new question group right at the bottom.